When the Mi Band 6 was released, the performance of its health tracking features were disappointing, especially its heart rate tracking. However, as we've seen for other devices, firmware updates can result in huge improvements. So almost a year later, has the heart rate tracking of the Mi Band 6 improved? Well, that's what we'll find out in this video. And to summarize, it actually seems like it might have improved quite significantly. Though as you see at the end of this video, some of the results are a bit confusing. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist specializing in biological data analysis. For this video, I want to do a comprehensive heart rate test of the Mi Band 6. So I bought a total of three Mi Band 6s. I tested two Mi Band 6s on myself to be sure that the results were not influenced by manufacturing variations between devices and the third was tested by the Austrian junior rowing squad to see if the results were any different when tested on different people. To keep things organized this video is divided into four parts. First we'll briefly recap how the Mi Band 6 performed when it was released. Second we'll look at the results of an extensive test I did on the heart rate tracking at the end of 2021 where I tested it for more than 30 workouts. Third we'll check if the performance of the Mi Band 6 is consistently good when used by different individuals of the Austrian junior rowing squad and fourth we'll look at the performance of a brand new Mi Band 6 I bought this week. As you will see it is this last test that is particularly confusing to me. Now before showing you the results I do want to note one thing. In all the results I'm going to show you keep in mind the price tag of the Mi Band 6. On sale you can often get one for less than $40 which is an order of magnitude less than many other popular smartwatches and brands you can currently buy. So even if it does not perform amazing it might actually still be quite a good deal. Okay enough background let's get to the results. I'll start by summarizing the results I obtained in May of last year and I'll do that in under 60 seconds. Those results are displayed here. I'll compare the heart rate measurements of the Mi Band 6 against the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, which can generally record my heart rate very accurately. We'll start by looking at the easiest type of exercise for a watch to track, cycling indoors. Here you can see one example indoor cycling session. Along the horizontal axis we have the time and my heart rate is along the vertical axis. In red I plotted my heart rate according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap and in blue is my heart rate according to the Mi Band 6. As you can see in the beginning the blue line overlaps quite well with the red line which means that the Mi Band 6 did quite a good job. However later the Mi Band 6 kept detecting a low heart rate as if I was still in rest while in reality I had continued my interval training and my heart rate should be higher. At the time I saw the same for several interval training sessions like this one right here as well. Again we see that only for part of the training the Mi Band 6 accurately detected my heart rate but quite often it detected a too low heart rate. And what we saw for weightlifting was even worse, where it basically could not detect any peaks in my heart rate, as you can see right here. Each time I do a set, my heart rate increases, however the Mi Band 6 detected none of this, and it even detected these moments of extremely low heart rate. So as you just saw, these results did not look good for the Mi Band 6, at least not with the original firmware that it had in May of 2021. However, let's now move on to more recent testing that I did. I tested the band extensively at the end of last year and kept the firmware up to date as best I could from mid-August through mid-October of last year. Honestly, over that second period I tested the Mi Band 6, the band performed much better than before. As we can see here in the first interval training session in August of 2021. Be aware though that the colors are switched compared to before with the Polar H10 reference in blue and the Mi Band 6 in red. As you can see, even though the red line is going up and down a bit more in the higher heart rate ranges, overall it matches very well with the blue line that I used as a reference. And we mostly see the same thing throughout the months that I tested it. Here in early September it again matched quite well. And we see the same thing right here later in September. Though there is this small deviation right here during the second part of my training. And this is the overall pattern we see for most of the training sessions. Like this one right here in the middle of October. Which generally agrees very well with every once in a while a slight deviation. However, not all interval spinning sessions were quite as good. In total, 4 out of 19 showed somewhat similar issues to the ones we saw in my original tests of the Mi Band 6. One example is shown right here, where it missed picking up my increased heart rate for the second part of the training right here. We see the same thing for this session right here, where again for the second part of the training it failed to pick up on my increased heart rate. And this is evident even more clearly during this third example session right here, where for more than half of the training it detected a too low heart rate. 
But keep in mind that in total, only four out of 19 spinning sessions showed these or similar issues, which is much better than what we had before for the Mi Band 6. Still, overall, this is looking like a massive improvement for the Mi Band 6. However, does it do as well when cycling outside? To make that comparison easier, let's first create a more general overview of the accuracy during cycling indoors, which will then allow us to compare that to cycling outside. Here we see an overview of the accuracy for cycling indoors. Each transparent dot here is a single heart rate measurement, with along the horizontal axis the value according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, and on the vertical axis the value according to the Mi Band 6. The darker black the color, the more dots there are in a certain area. And as you can see, there's quite a good agreement between the ECG chest strap and the Mi Band 6, as most points are along the blue line. And the correlation, this R value up here is 0.9, which is quite good. We want this R value to be as close to one as possible. Now we can make a similar plot for cycling outside and that is displayed right here. As you can see there are now many more points away from the blue line, especially below the blue line right here. This means that the Mi Band 6 detected a too low heart rate. We also see that this R value right here has gone down quite a bit from 0.9 to 0.67. And looking at the individual bike rides, we can see why this is. This is an example of quite a bad bike ride where the Mi Band 6 detected a much too low heart rate right here. Though there are also plenty of examples of much better bike rides, like this one right here, which shows a good agreement. And the same goes for this one right here. The agreement overall is quite good. But again, as I mentioned, there's also examples of poor bike rides, like this one right here, where the Mi Band 6 did not track my heart rate that well. Still, based on these results, the performance of the Mi Band 6 appears to be much better than before. I would say this is not bad at all for the relatively low price point of the Mi Band 6. However, so far, all these tests have been performed on me, but how does it do when tested on other people? To find out, a group of athletes from the Austrian Junior Rowing Squad was kind enough to test a number of smartwatches for me, including the Mi Band 6. Many thanks to all those guys, and be sure to check out their Instagram profiles in the description below. Let's first take a look at cycling indoors, which the members of the rowing team mostly use for cooldown and active recovery. In this first example shown here, we see that the Mi Band 6 in red generally agrees quite well with the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. And that's basically true for all the sessions, as we can also see in this example right here. And that's also what I want to show you in this third and final example right here, which overall shows a quite good agreement between both devices. The overall agreement is displayed right here in an overview plot similar to what we saw before. And as you can see, they agree quite well and also the R value is quite good at roughly 0.8. So all in all, these results are quite good for the Mi Band 6. Next, let's take a look at two more difficult exercises for watch the track, weightlifting and indoor rowing. In both cases, there will be quite a lot more tension on the arm and wrist, making it harder for a watch to actually track your heart rate. First, looking at weightlifting, we see a similar problem to what the Mi Band 6 showed when I originally tested it. It can't really pick up on the peaks in the heart rate for the most parts, as you can see in this example right here. And we see the same thing in this second example session right here. It tracks the heart rate in between the sets quite well, but the moment the set is started, it fails to pick up on the peaks in the heart rate. Finally, how did it perform for indoor rowing? Well, that seems to be a bit better, as you can see right here. Now I only have one session to show for this, but as you can see, except for struggling a bit in the beginning, the Mi Band 6 is quite well overall. So this is still looking much more promising than my original test results for the Mi Band 6 in early 2021, especially when taking into account the reasonable price of the device. However, I wanted to test the brand new Mi Band 6 I bought this week to see if there were any differences between the units produced and of course also to test the latest firmware and the results were surprising to me. Before moving to the results, if this video is proving interesting for you, a sub to the channel and a like or a comment on this video would be amazing. Now to the results. And this is where the results get confusing. This is a spinning session I did last Thursday. And as you can see, the Mi Band 6 in red struggled to track my heart rate during more than half of the training session. It detected both a too high and a too low heart rate. And it did even worse during the training session I did the next day, missing the peaks in my heart rate for the majority of the training session. Now these results are only based on two training sessions, however it is a bit concerning and confusing to me that these results are much worse than the results I obtained for the other two Mi Band 6s I own. The results for cycling outside were more similar to what we saw before in my other testing, with some bike rides showing quite some deviation like this ride right here, and others were tracked quite well like this ride right here, where the red line overlaps really well with the blue line. Now weightlifting, as we saw in most of the testing in this video, is not very good on the Mi Band 6, as you can also see right here. However, of course, I wouldn't have expected anything else given the previous results I showed you. 
Honestly, I don't really understand why this third Mi Band 6 I bought this week seems to perform quite a bit worse for cycling indoors. I can't imagine that a firmware update actually made things worse. So first of all, it might just be a coincidence I got two poorly tracked workout sessions. Or alternatively, this might actually be variation in the production quality of this particular band. If you have any other ideas, let us know in the comments below. However, all in all, I think that these results look quite promising for the Mi Band 6. Most of the results I obtained are quite a lot better than the results I originally got. Given the low price tag of the Mi Band 6, it might actually be the right fit for people that are not looking to spend too much money on a heart rate tracker. However, there are a couple of things to keep in mind before you buy the Mi Band 6. Firstly, as you saw, I did get some conflicting results at the end of my testing. This could potentially mean there could be some variation in the quality between different units that are produced. Second, I'm not the biggest fan of the Mi Wear app, which was actually rebranded to the Mi Fitness app this week. It frequently had issues syncing my data to other apps like Strava, so it was not the most reliable to me in that respect. Third, the Mi Band 7 is rumored to be released in the next few weeks or months, so you might want to wait for my test of that smart band before buying the Mi Band 6. Though, also keep in mind that the Mi Band 7 might need a couple of months to get a stable firmware version like we see now potentially for the Mi Band 6. I also need to mention that I actually already retested all the other health features of the Mi Band 6 and that video should be out in the next week or two. I'm curious, are you considering buying the Mi Band 6 or do you own it and what is your experience? Let us all know in the comments below. If you do care about heart rate tracking during exercise, I'm currently testing the Huawei Watch GT Runner which is very similar to the Huawei Watch GT3, which has amazing heart rate tracking. Check out that video right here. Last week, I tested the Redmi Smartband Pro, which you can check right here. I'll also link the recent reviews I did on many Garmin watches right here. Now, I hope this video informed you on the heart rate tracking capabilities of the Mi Band 6. If you liked it, consider subscribing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and catch you in the next video.